Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we'll be talking about something very, very important. Something very, very important is what we'll be talking about today. I know we'll be talking about things important, but today uh, I've actually take, take into consideration some important things. So I want us to talk about today. And we'll be talking about five bad money steps you need to avoid. Like how many, like five bad money steps you need to avoid if you want to be financially free. So there are five and I'll be going through with you step by step, one after the other. Because if you want to be financially stable, there are some things of which you must do. There are some things of which you must not do. So you must live your whole way. So we will be talking about these five steps that you must take. And the first one we'll be talking about, because I don't want this video to be too long. I just want it to be short and, get, and for you to be able to get all the information you want. So it's not by how long the video is. So I actually believe that once information is passed, it's not by how long the video is. So is it is uh, the, um, is it capturing what I want to say? So the first one we'll be talking about right now, we'll be talking about no budgeting. Like uh, those of you that are familiar with this channel that have been watching other of my videos, you know that I've always been talking about budgeting. It's so important to me because it's the first step to your financial freedom. Because they said when you when you when, when you don't plan, you plan to fail. So exactly that's what budget is because you know imagine when you don't know what is coming in and what is going out in your business so how are you going to survive in such a business I don't really know but probably you can show me how you're going to survive with that but by the time you have your budget you know what is coming in and what is going out so when you are overspending you actually know that oh I am overspending so I want you to take note of this because I wish I've actually known those those, those uh um uh, those five factors before now probably I would have been better uh, before now. So very very important. Take into consideration that aspect of budgeting. So learn to budget. Learn to budget. Know what is coming in. Know what is going out. No matter what you earn. So be able to to monitor. I created a file before, like uh, a spreadsheet called Income Tracker. That is that's the best way you could monitor it. You know what you're spending and what you are not spending. So that is the first one take it into consideration and the second one we'll be talking about is ignoring emergency fund i have i've always I, i've always talked about emergency fund but most of you thought uh what is emergency fund and a lot of people don't even know emergency fund and they are saying i i, I can't save I, I i can't invest with my money how how are you going to invest when you don't know about emergency fund when you don't have emergency fund so you should know about emergency fund. You should know that there are things that just happen because you don't rule the world. I don't rule the world. There are things that just happen unnecessarily. So there are things that just happen or sanctity. So there are some things like your car break down. Your car is not going to tell you it's going to break down tomorrow. Or probably uh, your, uh, your body is not going to tell you that ah, I'm not, I, I won't be able to go to work by, by next week or so. No, those things just happen. So the only way that you're not going to run into debt is when you have emergency fund. So when you have emergency fund, you can actually pick from there and say, okay, I can sustain myself within within this time with this. So once you have emergency fund, you'll be able to take care of that. But if not, you start looking for credit card, looking for debt, you don't even mind the interest they are charging you, you just want to have it, you just want to take it. So that's another part. Try not to ignore emergency fund. It's very important. It's one of the steps that you must you must take to your financial freedom and another one is overspending and impulse buying i think everybody have this problem so this actually take a lot of discipline if you really want to overcome this particular one it takes discipline because uh this, this is when i always talk about opportunity calls before now like when you know what you want and what you need so it only it only totally take uh discipline for you to be able to differentiate it so when you just want to buy everything that appeals to you everything you see everything that you think you want everything you think that you need you just want to buy it. no you just you have to separate yourself like you have to know what you want and what you need you understand because in economics like i always said before like they said human wants are insatiable you can never satisfy human want everybody if you ask me now what do i want i want a lot of stuff no matter the amount of money you have you won't be able to satisfy what i want so i had learned to differentiate what i want from what i need so it's another part which you must take into consideration learn to differentiate what you want from what you need it's another part which you must uh, as well take into consideration it's very very important and another thing that you need to look 
look at is um when you don't plan to waste your retirement you don't plan to waste your retirement that's the third one so it's just like you living the life of like i don't know what tomorrow is going to be but when you start planning into your retirement you see that your financial life will just be stable it will be stable that you don't earn like you don't earn uh you do you are not among the one the the, the one the one percent of the economy that is made like 200 200k annually that's not what you earn but with the little you earn because of the plan you put in place you plan for tomorrow you plan for investment you know that it's inevitable everybody know that it's inevitable if you want to live a long life except for those that want to die early so if you want to live a long life you should know that okay um there must be a retirement plan that there must be sometime that i won't be able to work and uh, this is the age i want to I want, I want to retire so if you actually plan towards those things you know that this is when you're going to retire so if you start planning for it now you see that it will go smoothly your financial life will be so stable will be so stable so it's very very important when you actually plan towards your life when you actually plan like you know what you want you know what you don't want so it's very 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 important and the last one i will be talking about the fifth one that i will be talking about it's management of bad debts a lot of us doesn't know how to manage bad we don't know how to manage debts we don't know at all we don't know how to manage debt we just want to take loan like we just want to take loan take credit card a lot of us have like five credit cards we don't we don't know how the interest is being compounded we don't know how how they will compound the interest you don't know how to manage the debt you should know that okay if this is the debt that i'm taking so you should know that okay i'm i'm going to you should set a plan like okay i'm going to pay off those those are uh, those debts with a high interest you pay them off so that you know that oh this is what i have left so you should learn how to manage your debt it's very important it's another it's another way to your financial success so if you learn all those things it's very very important you see you're going to be successful you are going to be successful there's no two ways about it so like i always said before i always use this word before i said bad bad money management is bad money management so no matter what you earn if you have a bad money management you have a bad money management so learn to manage what you earn let manage what you earn you see that your finance will just grow all of the sudden so it's not actually a magic and um another thing i want to add is that uh, for you to be able to achieve all this i know it's not easy yeah it's certainly not easy yeah i'm saying it again it's certainly not easy for you to be able to do this you need a maximum amount of discipline you need a maximum amount of discipline for you to be able to do this you have to discipline yourself you have to like okay this is what i want so you have I, I think you even have to work in your circle like you work in your circle like the people the people you associate with things that are making you to, to live outside your budget like i said before so you see that when you have your budget then you know that when you actually live in your budget deviating from what you budgeted then you will know but if you don't have budget let's look at it this way if you don't have budget you just spend everything you see you want to buy you don't you, you don't even care like ah am i spending too much am i spending more than what i'm earning you don't know that but by the time you have a budget you definitely see that things will just go smoothly like, you know you don't spend more than what you what you actually wanted to spend so it's very very important so once we take all these things into consideration we see that our financial life will be so stable so those are the five steps which you must take into consideration very 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 important you must take them into consideration you must budget you must budget if you want to be financially free you must budget and another thing is that emergency fund learn to have emergency fund so i will just talk a little about the emergency fund again like i said before i i did a video about uh insurance how insurance is important to you and how you can leverage yourself with an uh, insurance company so i actually said something i said the insurance company actually help you because it take the body of the huge amount of emergency fund. Let's say, for instance, you have the income protection insurance, for instance. So that allow that actually protect you for the father if you are not able to work tomorrow for some time. This insurance co company will be able to pay your mortgage, pay your bills, so you won't feel it that much. So you so so you get what i'm saying so that's how it is so i if you have not watched that video i actually advise you go back to watch that video 
it's actually educating. There is a lot you're going to learn. There is a lot because a lot of people are not making use of the insurance company. So you have to make use of it because I know it's not easy to save a huge amount for emergency fund. So it's not really easy. So uh, if if you are being if you are able to make use of uh, this opportunity, you are able to leverage yourself with those insurance company. You see, uh, everything is definitely going to work well for you. And I talk about uh, uh, retirement plan. You have to plan very well for your retirement. Very, very important. I'm laying emphasis on it again. So everybody, like I, like I am, I already set, set a time I'm going to retire. So I, I've already been working towards that, setting, pre, uh, making uh, pre preparation. Because it's not just going to happen. Like uh, I'm not going to work forever till my old age. So the strength I have today is definitely different from the strength I'm going to be having 20 years to come. So I already have this in mind and I put this into my budget already. So I know what I'm working towards. So I, I learn to plan towards my retirement. It's very, very important. And on the aspect of overspending it by i know that concept right for time i know it was easy to deal with but at the end i dealt with it because i was able to differentiate what i need for what i want so for me to be able to spend like i know is is just what i want is not what i need so i have to ask myself i have to be able to convince myself i convince myself do i really need this thing that i want to buy now do i really need it i have to i have to convince myself like justify the fact that i need it so it like what i said before it take a lot of discipline if you want to be able to follow this financial full step so these five steps if you are able to follow it you see your financial life just growing no matter what you earn and, and uh debt management also very very important also very very important don't ignore debt management because uh the way you manage your debt matters a lot because I know uh, we can't actually live without without debt. We must have like credit card. So uh, the amount of debt you actually have don't matter sometimes. But how you manage those debts, it actually works matter. So thank you very much. Like I said before, uh, this video is not going to be too long. But I hope I was able to pass the information, the what I, the message I was I, I I wanted to pass. I hope I'm able to pass it to you. And if there is any part you want a deep explanation on, so just put it on the on the on the on the comments, and I will definitely do a video on it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the other video. And let me let me remind you, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you.